My name is Maureen McCauley, and we are right now in Gasworks Gallery in my art studio. I am not a trained professional artist. I am certainly somebody who very much enjoys the process of creation and collage and lots of color. So that's what I would like to show. Uh, uh, there's today. three collages I just want to show you. This, this one is, and this one, these two are both from magazine uh, photo cutouts, um, pictures taken from, uh, cut out from magazines. I just want to show that because I want to encourage anybody who has magazines um, to go ahead and create. I think so many people, and I know I'm among them, are very hesitant to, to do any kind of art, thinking we're not artists, we can't do this. Well, we can, and there's so many ways. This is um, something that I did with um, tissue paper, with red acrylic paint, with a, uh, this was a, um, is a, a sticker, basically. And I put it together as the colors. The two small collages here mean a lot to me because this is my mother who passed away about 10 years ago, obviously in her very younger days. And this is my dad probably in um, the late 1940s um, visiting New York City for one of the few times in his life. Um, up here we have a collage that I did that I just enjoy as a collection of images, including a pie and a flamingo and a tree. Um, up here are examples of Ethiopian art, which I did not do. Um, I bought this art at uh, the church Lalibela in, uh, in northern Ethiopia. Um, people outside the churches draw these amazing kind of, and they're, they're very traditional examples of Ethiopian art. I think I am trying to capture moments. Part of what I'm trying to do at this point in my life is very much to live in the moment and to be aware of the moment. And I think maybe to some degree, that's what my art is doing as this well. This is um, what's called a gel transfer print from old postcards from Marblehead, Massachusetts, uh, near where I grew up. And I did the gel transfer and then put the uh, green paint over them. But those are antique postcards the, the image, a photocopy of a, an antique postcard that then is transferred onto. This is, a, of course, a collage as well. It says kind of a combination of things. The, the, these two cards are um, examples used in the Mexican Loteria cards. And then this is um, instructions from a, a game that came in Spanish. <laughs> the bottom part, Temporary Trouble is Coming Your Way, is from what's ostensibly a Chinese fortune stick, but I liked the combination <laughs> of the images. This is um, the Boston skyline when I was at Logan Airport. This is just, I had taken a photo and I, I did a, a quick little um, acrylic painting of, of the Boston skyline. This is my great grandmother yes. um, in a collage as well. Her so name? her name was Anne Halloran. She was from Massachusetts? She was from Ireland. From Ireland? She, actually, she was from England originally, oh, and, then, okay. and then Ireland, absolutely, and then Massachusetts, that's, that's right. Common. Color is such a huge part of it, and to me, the, the, the value of color is the, the vibrancy, the possibilities, the way it blends. I'm certainly aware of textures as well, though I think I would say that color is really the main part of it. Um, I, I think it's so important to observe the details of color and the nuance of color and maybe, I don't know, maybe as I'm talking here with you, Nathaniel, I'm seeing an overlap between noticing the day-to-day -day details of the, the people that we see. So, and then this wall is just kind of a random collection of different small collages that I've done. This is another magazine art one. This is another Loteria card, Atlas holding up the world, postcards from Can various you tell places. Me what a lotteria card is. I'm not familiar with that. It's the Mexican lottery and they just call them lotteria cards so that they are they are I have a whole batch of them. They have these images on the lottery cards is what it is. So I have zillions. And that of is them. I mean I know it's sort of a cliche the idea that that children are so open to art and don't have the fears that we develop as we get older, whether it's in elementary school, middle school, high school, whenever, that we can't be artists. Children are so open to it. And I, as I say, I know it's a cliche, but it's so true. And she's just like that, too. Um, I have some artwork up here that was done by my granddaughter, Zariah. And I always laugh because some people are never sure if it's my <laughs> artwork or my granddaughter's. But that one happens to me, my granddaughter's she artwork. She has very good so colors, I think. And she does. Yeah. 
She does. I think she's a genius, but of course I have a bias. You have a bias. So How old is she? She's seven. 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 Something else that's very, very important to me at this point in my life has to be stories and listening to stories and telling stories. I don't know if my art reflects that right now. Um, I know I do like to use words in my art and sayings that um, have meaning to me. So maybe that's part of it, too, that I'm trying to capture a moment that so way. So these are some of my, I love postcards, as I say. So these are some of the postcards that I've done with different uh, stickers and images. Um, this was a quick little one that I had done of, um, of Vancouver. I forgot that this was here, but this is very relevant to what we're talking about. When I visited Vancouver, I did this quick little... <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, so this is, I think, fascinating to me because I had forgotten completely that I had this collage here, a place that you live and then I have visited, and there it is. See, that's the story part to me. So many things, so many things. You just took the seaplanes recently, right? Yeah, in yeah. the summertime. I'm, that's so I'm cool. Dying actually that airline that's Harbor Air. <laughs> and then these are some of the others um, this this sort of thing if we want to talk about kind of some of the financial part these have been the most popular of the items that I have sold um, with the quotes um, they have for whatever combination of reasons um, spoken to people and that's been the most popular of my this of is my the artwork. Spanish uh, this is a, just a directions on playing a game the lottery card and then the, the Chinese envelopes that are used on New Year's to put money in so it's a combination and then you'll have an exciting night <laughs> so. that one I like that one says oh my gosh you didn't you posted an Ayn Rand quote <laughs> this one would be interesting mm -hmm. the question isn't who is going to let me it's who is going to stop me. I do like that yeah, one. See, I know. I, I think so, too. I have chosen a lot of different ones. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Mm -hmm. Wow. Deep stuff, yeah. Plato, not me. So. You could take credit. <laughs> this one's good. Love is the beauty of the soul. This has been one a, a popular piece. This is we saw the stamps over there, and these are stamps from Ethiopia, and um, the colors, the red, the yellow, and green of the Ethiopian flag. Um, that happens to be one of the favorite pieces that that I have made. I like it. That's what means the most to me. I think is the way that we look at things. I, it's um, awfully easy to get caught up in the very real, legitimate tragedies that exist in the world, and I'm not dismissing or denying any of them. I think we also, though, sometimes need to refresh and renew um, with with messages of hope and messages of, of uh, trust and possibilities. Um, this is a Herman Hess quote, for example, within you there is a stillness and sanctuary to which you can retreat at any yeah. time. The, the, the quote from Buddha, I just always like, let us rise up and be thankful for if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little. And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick. And if we got sick, at least we didn't die. So let us all be thankful. Because that notion of gratitude is also important, I think, to me in, 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 in proportion. Um, what you can see a little bit more over here is um, some of the, this is other artwork that I, whoop, that I have thrown on the floor that I have done, um, again, using different sorts of medium. Um, letters and writing is very, very important to me, so that's certainly part of it. Where, I do like to... Where the heck did you find a typewriter to do that? <laughs> it came on a card that I had received, yeah. so I, you know, again, kind of re imagined that and reinvented that and put it there. I don't know how many children really recognize a typewriter. <laughs> I've enjoyed doing Absolutely. these. Absolutely. The candles in the back are from France, a photo that I took in France. Ikea and the, lamps uh, in France. <laughs> yeah, it was at a church. I don't yeah. know if they used Ikea. And the cup of coffee was uh, at a, a lovely little cafe in Scotland, actually, when we were in uh, Edinburgh for a day. And I just was so taken by this beautiful cup of coffee. This is a nice so. one. Let's see. The world in which you were born is just one model of reality. Other cultures are not failed attempts at being you. They are unique manifestations of the human spirit. And I have nothing to do with the poster itself except for being a huge fan of the sentiment and indeed the art. But Wade Davis is the artist and um, well worth uh, looking into. I, I think I'm going to. <laughs> this one simply says, Wish you were here amidst a splash of colors. That's right. That's right. And I like that one I like because I think it suggests wish you were here that we are the the red and the yellow, we are in a 
lots of times in lots of uh, maelstroms, lots of storms, and we wish perhaps others were here. Or maybe it also means wish somebody else was there instead <laughs> of me. I'm not sure. So <laughs> That's open to interpretation. <laughs> that's right. And that's just a little mini collage that I did several years ago with uh, some old uh, cooking direction papers. I like cookies. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't? Absolutely. This is a canvas that I use as kind of a communal canvas when here at Gasworks Gallery we have an open house and I just invite, and that happens about four times a year, I, I have a canvas up and I invite people to draw, paint, write on it, and it's always fascinating to see what, what people do, what they add to, what they take away. A lot of cats. A lot of cats. I don't know why, but yes. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I know, and then the occasional mouse, so yes. <laughs> and this That's is right. the implements of uh, art. That's right. These are to, to be used on the canvas. I certainly use them in my own art as well, but those are to be used by anybody as they go along in the Hershey's Kisses. So these are some of my collages and then postcards or different things that I like to have up as kind of inspiration and color. This is so cool. Thank you. This one's uh, right near the door. Uh huh. And this one above it, you uh, use some of the same materials from the earlier one with uh, the, the one of the first collages you showed. That's right, the texture, um, the texture, and that is a famous painting, in the name of which I cannot even think of at the moment. I apologize. Um, I just have always been very taken by it. It was part of a um, calendar that belonged to my dad, and as I was cleaning out the house, I held on to the the calendar, and I'm using some of the images from that. Um, in my art as well. This this one is another one of actually my favorites. I did kind of a, of a color transfer using tissue paper, what they call bleeding tissue paper, on the wood. This is wood. This is the, another gel transfer from the an old Marblehead, Massachusetts um, postcard. And I just liked the way it worked. This is just a very cool little uh, embellishment that I like. That's really nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. And now I think we're back where we uh, where we began. Now how do you feel about it, this, this space and the art you've created here? This space has been just such a, a place of, of peace and fun and creativity for me. I've enjoyed it far more than I really thought I would. It was a chance of sorts. I, I was taking a chance or a risk to decide to uh, look into having space of my own to find it here, Gasworks Gallery, right across from Lake Union in Seattle. It's quiet here. There is a community of other artists, some uh, incredibly, just incredibly talented and people who are here. So there's a nice synergy and energy, but it's also just a very quiet retreat. I can be here. I can know that there are people upstairs because you can often hear their footsteps. Um, I have no window here, and that may be a plus in some ways. Uh, I can't see outside, but I have light. I can focus. And it's been a wonderful place. I just, it'll be, it was a year in uh, September. I've been here just over a year. Well, I look forward to coming back in a year's time and seeing all the new stuff you add. Well, I hope you come back before then, and I thank you. You are welcome at any time. Thank you. Thanks, Nathaniel.